Hello and welcome to Gardenville.tv. Here we are at Bloom 2011. We're in Dublin and we're at the Phoenix Park. We're talking now to Emilio from Fushi Vale Nurseries. That's right, yes. Good morning, how are you? Very good, thank you, yes. I'm going to pass Susan on to you now, who's going to talk to you about your fuchsias. Hi, Amelia. We're just looking at this amazing display of fuchsias, and you've just told me you won a silver medal in Chelsea this year, and I see you've silver gilt here with us in bloom. So, first of all, I want to look at this one here. Hi, uh, yes. Yes, our black sea fuchsia. It's a very, it's a very nice, uh, very dark colour. It's a very un unusual for fuchsias. You, you don't get it very often where you have a, a very dark flower, and um, it's proven very popular here. You don't see uh, because you don't see it very often. I must say, I'm very fond of the dark ones, and this one is a trailing one. And then here we have another um, Anita, an upright bush. So can you just explain to anyone who's seeing this what the difference is? Well, obviously the, the, the difference between the, the, the black sea fuchsia is, obviously the flower structure is very different in the way that it's, it's, it's more, a lot more blousy than the, than the Anita. Uh, obviously, the, very obvious the colour. Uh, Again, to the flower structure, that's that, I would call that a, a double. Uh, and, it's a, and it's a trailing, and whereas Anita is only a, a single and it's an upright bush. Right, and any of these you're telling me can be trained as a standard, because quite often people use the standard ones as the centre for a pot or something like that on their patio. And also I see you've marked them as hardy, those which will tolerate outdoor conditions. That's right, yeah, as long as they go uh, in the ground, that's the main thing. If they're in the ground, they will definitely be hardy. They'll come out year after year. You won't have to protect them and only cut them back in the, in the spring, not the autumn. That's a very common mistake. Yes, because a lot of the books tell you to cut them back in November, which leaves them very vulnerable to frost, etc. Now, I gather you also sell in line, so I'm going to pass it back to Catherine to get the details of how people can contact you. Emilio, um, what a wonderful display here. Um, you must be very proud. Oh yeah, I am. I mean, it's going very well so far this year. It's my first year in doing it and I'm very happy with it. Congratulations. Anybody looking to buy from you or contact you for information, Emilio, how can they do that? Well, they can contact us on fuchsiaval.com. Uh, we've got a website and online catalogue, so all the varieties are named and pictured so you can see which ones you like. Well, Emilio from Fuji Vale Nurseries, many thanks for talking to us this morning at Gardenville.tv.